Hi everyone, so I'm continuing my battle of the products by going through different uh, makeup products. So I'm going to start my kind of like get ready with me battle of the products. So I'm going to start by priming my face. So I'm going to use Too Faced's Hangover and Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Marina Boosting uh, Mist. So I'm going to start with this one. So just kind of covering half my face and spray. I don't think I really enjoy that smell of it. And then going through with Too Faced's Hangover Spray. <laughs> so there's obviously the size difference and whatnot. Um, but I just feel, let's just go. Well, that way I'm spraying things and I smacked myself in the face. This is starting off well. I'm poisoning myself and like swallowing this stuff. Okay, so there's two different sizes, but like this one definitely has more of like that nice mister than kind of this one. But I think both sides, my face looks really nice. Um, so I'm going to go in kind of with concealer. Use shape tape on this side. And then NARS. So I use the shape tape in uh, Fair Neutral. And then I'm going to use NARS's uh, in Vanilla. And I was kind of trying to get concealer in whatever the whitest shade is. So it looks out that like they really should match. So I'm just going to use one side. And then the other side. So I kind of used NARS before and didn't really like it, but maybe the key to it is definitely put down like that primer or setting because I just found it like a little dry, but applying it this time, like I think both went on nicely. Um, I don't like aren't creasing so far. So I'm going to use HD powder on this side and just kind of tap some on. So this is from Makeup Forever and it is their uh, Ultra HD powder. <laughs> then going in with Tarte's uh, Smooth Operator. are killing me. Ugh. So like normally they're not an issue. Right now I'm liking both of them. I'm gonna go in with contour. So I like cleaned all my makeup brushes so I use everything like full on like 
uh, like I kind of just did like a cleanser, like a cleanser I didn't really like to clean them. So they're all so beautiful. And then I'm going in and like, just destroying it now. Makes me a little sad. Um, so I'm going to use Huda Beauty, right? Or Hula Benefit Bronzer. on one side And then going in with Tarte's uh, Glow Pro Palette. And I got this in my Fab Save Fun. So I do kind of think I like the Tarte one a little bit more. Um, Hula has been like the one that I've been using um, more often. But uh, I just like kind of that cool tone aspect that it's giving off. Um, going into blush. Um, on this side, I'm going to use... Uh, my Too Faced Peach. So this is going to be that melting in. So this is Peach Dream. And then I'm going to go in with Tarte's Parte. For a highlight, I'm just going to kind of go in with a pinky highlight. So I'm going to use, I'm pretty sure this is in the Sugar Pop one, but this is Anastasia's. Versus Becca's in Rosé Glow. Rosé Glow. So they're pretty like similar in color, right? Um, and that's all kind of hold off till the end of like what product side I like more. And you can also judge along the way as well. So I'm going to put on some eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to use Too Faced 24 Hour Insurance 
anti-crease. And I'm going to kind of keep products together. So I will on this side. On the other side, I'm going to use uh, Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So do you find Urban Decay's maybe a little bit more creamy? And then Too Faced kind of has this like powdery finish. I just had to feel it again. Right, it almost goes to like a powderness. So I'm just gonna kind of put whatever little remnants is left on my translucent powder over top. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and my Taupe Notch from Violet Foss. And these are kind of my favorite uh, eyeshadow companies. Um, so I'm going to go in with Bestus from Top Notch. Just kind of. And put that in my crease. As well as I'm going to take that color and put it under and then going into Huda Beauty I'm going to take sandalwood and put that into my crease taking that color and putting it on my lower lash line Going into upper crust using my fingers from my Violet Foss palette. I'm going to apply this on my lid. Going into bubbly from my Huda Beauty. I'm going to apply that on my other lid. They're like slightly, like I think the lid color is pretty much the same. The transition color is like a slightly, like, um, different tone like a little bit more cool tone on this side a little bit more warm tone on that side but they're pretty like similar <laughs> to each other and that um, I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and go into suede from my Put a beauty palette. And apply that to my outer corner. From my Violet Foss palette, I'm gonna go into Royal. And here are my finished eyes. Like, I'm impressed by how similar they are. And that.
for both of them, I'm just going to go into Elite and kind of just clean up above. So I do think naturally this is like a lighter shade than this one. So I am just trying to buff this side out. Going in with eyeliner, I'm going to use my fly liner on this side. And on my other side, I'm going to go in with um, Kat Von Dean's tattoo liner. And on this side, I'm going to use my big Monsieur mascara. And then on my other side, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. To finish off, I'm going to use um, from Too Faced Sugar Cookies. So I'm going to put this on my bottom lip. And then birthday suit on my top lip. So here is my finished look. What side do you think looks better? So they're both kind of like, like Sephora, right? So I didn't do like drugstore high end, but just kind of battle of the Sephora makeup. Um, so I did try and pick things that like I like. So it wasn't like, let me choose what I don't like and what I do. Um, so looking at myself, let me go down through. Um, so from the setting sprays, um, they're both kind of the same. I maybe like the mister on this one better. Um, going through the concealers, heart shape tape kind of wins out. So the NARS definitely works better with like a primer underneath, but I just kind of feel like it might be wrinkling a little. Um, I do think I like Tarte's um, Smooth Operator a little bit better than Makeup Forever's HD powder, just because I feel like it really sink into my skin versus that HD powder not as much like still both really good products um from my bronzer i do think i kind of like um tarts because it's that cooler tone right then huda beauties because it's kind of that warmer tone but it, like i still think they're both good products um for blush like on camera, I kind of like this one better. Um, this side, right? So I think I do like the Tarte Amazon Clay, but I do think Tarte, uh, Too Faced lasts longer in general. Um, from the highlight, I think Anastasia's kind of showing a little bit more bling, but I feel like Becca isn't showing as much texture in my skin. So this one's going to be my kind of winner. Um, for the eyeshadow primer, Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion is going to be my favorite. Um, for the palettes, I'm going to give it to Violet Foss uh, just because I think they blended out nicer. Uh, for this one, I feel like 
from the transition to that outer shade like it wasn't blending in as nice versus like this one it just blends in better um for the eyeliners i do like um the tattoo liner a little bit better for doing that outer corner because it's a little bit stiffer of a brush um but you know what like this is still pretty good and this one's kind of good for like if you mess up it's kind of an easy cleanup but I do like that stiffer one because it had a nice line and then like trying to go back it was like the brush kind of like bent a little so I'd like this formula with kind of this applicator um and that and then for my eyelashes like I think I like the big mesh here because I just found like Too Faced maybe like clumped a little bit more together and I think the big mixture just like applied nicer on my bottom lashes maybe the better than sex maybe gave me a little bit more length and then for my lips I do like the Too Faced one better than the Tarte just because it's like a little bit like matte but still not so dry looking like it looks like matte but more like a matte lipstick so it has some of that moisture in it um so let me know in the comments below which one was kind of your favorite